Hello, my name is Nelly from Coinly and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you guys how to do your uphold crypto taxes with the Coinly um, crypto tax software. So I will be showing you how to integrate the uphold wallet with Coinly. Um, before I do that, I want to give you a bit more information about Uphold. So Uphold started in 2015. It's currently mostly popular in the US, but it deals in 30 different countries. From the official website, it deals with 27 national currencies and 58 cryptocurrencies. However, the most interesting part about Uphold is not that. It's actually that it also deals with commodities such as gold and silver as well as stocks. So that's what really sets it apart from its competition, that it actually deals with uh, things like gold and silver and also stocks and crypto. So it's doing a little bit of everything, which is kind of impressive. Alrighty, so that's a little bit about the wallet. Let's jump into the actual integration part of this video. So you are going to go to the official Coinly website, which I will also leave a link in the description. You are going to log into your account and you are going to click wallets and then you're going to click add wallet and here it will take it will take you to the integration page and it will show you all the different very cool wallets that Coinly deals with. Um, so this list is massive so it might take you a long time just to uh, look at all these. So th these are the different wallets, exchanges, blockchains, everything is on here. We're only looking for the uphold wallet so we're going to type in uphold here and we're going to click that and here we have two different options. We strongly recommend clicking the set up auto sync option. So you're going to click that and here it will ask or it will tell us you'll be redirected to uphold to grant read only access to your account. This does not give us access to move your funds. And from time to time, I still see comments saying, well, Coinly just wants to steal my uh, cryptocurrency or move my funds. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. We're only interested in read only information so we can help you do your crypto taxes. But anyways, jumping into that, we're going to click continue to uphold and it will take us to this nice little screen where you see this cool little graphic between Coinly and Uphold. And just like I said earlier, in order to fa facilitate the services provided by Coinly, you're authorizing Uphold to transfer your personal data and allowing the application to view all transactions, view all the inform information associated to your Uphold wallet. So no hidden information here, nothing sneaky. It's telling you exactly what it's going to do. So we're gonna click authorize. And since I was already logged into Uphold, I didn't actually have to sign into my account. For you, if you haven't already, you might have to log in there. And automatically, you'll start seeing um, transactions and coins being generated on your account. So for me, I don't I don't work with this wallet usually, um, but I can show you another one and how it would look if you deal with the Uphold wallet. So here's my Coinbase with 44 transactions and all the different cryptocurrencies I am working with. And that is what your Uphold wallet should look like. And the best part of all of this is it will now help you keep track of your crypto transactions from here on out. You will just have to simply refresh and update from time to time. And then when it's tax season, the best part of all is you can go to the tax report section. Assuming all of this review needed stuff is sorted and you know, you're ready to go, it'll tell you exactly what your capital gains were, you know, what your income was, your costs and expenses. And if you're doing your own taxes, depending on what country you're in, you know, if you're in Australia, the ATO report, or if you're in America, it might be a different uh, document. Or if you have an accountant that's doing it for you, you can just download the complete tax report. And right here you click download report. And also keep in mind that since, you know, this is helping you with your taxes, it's actually a tax deductible um, fee. Uh, this document that you're paying for, the service that you're paying for is helping you calculate your taxes, which means it is of course tax deductible. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you are looking for more specific tax information for your country and the procedure on how to do your cryptocurrencies, we're constantly working on those videos. You can check our channel and see what we got going on there. If you have any questions, a few different places you can visit. You can go to the Coinly Help Center and type in you know, your question here and potentially find a article or a article and a video um, that I've done already. Um, that would definitely help you out. If that doesn't help you out, you can also go into our Coinly forums and leave a question and either communicate with other users or people from our team uh, about potential um, problems and resolutions to those problems. And then lastly, if all of that is still not enough, you can go to our contact page and I will leave all these links down below and you can send us a message or an email or start a chat and we'd be happy to help you. 
And hopefully that answered a lot of questions about the Uphold wallet, because I know a lot of people have been asking for this video. If you have another wallet you want to suggest a integration video for, you can leave it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.